Hey friends, it's Sarah from Gilkey's Limited Adventures and I'm here again with another video on Operation Christmas Child. This time I'm down in our basement in our shoebox room. Um, I'll show you a bigger view of it in just a second, but today I'm going to pack a box for a five to nine year old girl that's near and dear to my heart because I have a love for cats and I'm going to pack a box with a little mini theme of cats. So I'm going to move some of this over so you can see how I pack this box. My husband and I love Operation Christmas Child. We've been packing for 11 or 12 years. We started really small with just one box and the next year two boxes and then it's just gone more and more every year and now we're up to about 60 boxes a year and we love to have our family and friends come help us so we set up this room in our basement i work from home over here and then all of our toys and clothes are over here and we love to have people come over have a meal pack a shoebox with us and um, really load them up under this christmas tree it's so much fun for us and I just love to share it. So just like someone shared with me the first time about the way they packed a box, it got me excited and my husband excited and we've loved it ever since. So I'm gonna show you this box that I have packed with a little kitty theme. I'm down here in my basement because usually when I'm doing something down here, my kitties show up. So I'm hoping that they come and be in this video with us because they're so cute. Well, look who showed up. This is our little kitty Winnie. She is so cute she's the fluffiest of them all so cuddly she's so sweet here's her little brother Vinny coming along here she is she's so cute this is our newest and our littlest our little kitten Vinny he is just six months old all of our cats look the same they're so adorable here's a little up close pic of Vinny oh look how cute you are this is Minnie. We call her the OG. She's the first cat we ever had. She's just about two and a half years old. Here she is. Look, Minnie. Look how cute you are. She's so sweet. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see everything that's in this box. Um, if you're wondering what's behind me, we have a map and this shows circled here are all the places that our boxes went to. So we do the tracking so we know. So that's really a great visual for people to see when they come over. And then a Christmas tree behind us and that's where we stick all of our boxes once they're done. Right now I'm still in the middle of packing all my pencil pouches so it's kind of all over the place there. But So we're going to start with this little girl's box. We have a little baby doll with this super cute crocheted baby blanket that one of my friends crocheted. She sent us about 50 of these so I'm so excited about those. So this is her wow item. And now I'll show you all the little cat themed items. First, we got her this cute little cat t-shirt. I got that at Walmart. That wasn't on clearance, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta pay full price when you want the really cute things. So we did get that cat t-shirt. This tiny little kitty, it's got like the beans in it. It's like the Thai beanie kitty. That's very cute. I got her two pairs of kitty socks a blue and a pink they have like the little my little no hello kitty they have a hello kitty on them we got her this little kitty paddle ball set where you you know hit the ball like that that's a kitty item we got her this little squishy kitty so these come from Amazon. I think you can get them anywhere, but they're just squishy. There's nothing else to them. They're just like a little stress ball thing. They're really squishy. I keep these in the package because the material they're made from can like gather dust and stuff and I want it to be nice and new when she gets it. So this is so much fun just to squish these around. So let's see what else is in the box that's not a kitty theme because I love kitties. So there are quite a few kitty themes, but that's it. It's just going to be a mini theme. So if she doesn't like cats, she'll have plenty of other things in her box. I got her a little pair of flip flops, a little bow to match her shirt. I love these bows from Amazon. A little unicorn that came from the dollar store. My husband picked out these 
Nativity Finger Puppets. It's a whole set of Mary and Joseph and Jesus and some wise men in here. A little game she can play. I like to pack one noisemaker or musical instrument in every box so she's getting a little harmonica. A little butterfly pouch where she can put all her little things including this light up ring. See how nice that is. And then these little bracelets. A little butterfly um, pop it. Now these came from Walmart. I think a lot of you guys got these on clearance too. They were only $2. They came in lots of different styles. I called it a butterfly, but is that a bow? It's a bow or a butterfly. It's cute either way. And then a jump rope so she can play with that. Some super cool pink sunglasses to match her shirt. And then our pencil pouch, which if you've seen any of my videos before, you know what's in this. I'll go through it super quickly. But it has a few different types of stickers. It has this nativity, which I have a piece of paper cut out so they can put that nativity on that blue piece of paper. It has our picture with our letter on the back. I get those printed at Walgreens. So there is a video from a few weeks ago where I read that if you're interested to see what we say in our letter. And then a few different kinds of coloring books. I got these at Oriental Trading. They're a really good deal and they fit very well in the shoe box. And then one pad of paper kind of holds it all together. And inside of this pencil pouch, I'll deconstruct it and I'll put it back together so you can see it. So I like to use these fabric pencil pouches. They're sturdy and the pencils don't poke any holes in them. Everybody gets a string backpack. So the thought behind it is everything in their shoebox could fit in the backpack if they want to reuse this plastic shoebox for something else. So everybody gets a string backpack. I do have them split between boys and girls. So a girl is always going to have like girl themed colors inside. I mean, any color is fun, but there are some things in here that are girly. So I do kind of keep them separate. Colored pencils and crayons. They get a comb and a toothbrush. Now these aren't school supplies necessarily, but this ensures everyone will get a comb and a toothbrush because um, other people do pack with us. So at our house, we say they need a pencil pouch and a wow item, and then you can go through the line and put whatever else you want in there. So that just ensures that everyone's gonna get a comb and a toothbrush. Then we have some pencils and some pens. I have those pre-sharpened if I can, so they don't have to sharpen them themselves. However, I do also add a pencil sharpener. And then, some little erasers and then everybody gets a funny eraser. This one happens to be a little purple llama or alpaca. And then I just rubber band these all together. And that is what's in the pencil pouch. So this girl has a good variety of items with a little mini cat theme. Now let's see if we can get it all back in there. I love packing our boxes as full as possible and I always tell people when they come over that bulging is just fine and actually preferred at our house. A lot of these items are donated and I love to, when I pack boxes sometimes, even though I fill these up and I know kind of what's in there, sometimes my mom fills them up for me and when I see these like oh we got new jump ropes and like I know oh my mom's been down here putting some items in the shoe box so thank you for anyone who's ever donated to us family and friends we love it if you want to donate but you don't want to pack boxes there is probably a processing center near you that you would be able to send some items to. If you love to shop and you want to donate items, they're always looking for some extra fillers. So I would say go to Samaritan's Purse online and check to see if there are needs in your area. And you can definitely help that way. I always like to save, I'm gonna take this tag off. I always like to save the wow item for the very top. 
Now I know someone's gonna look through this box, but chances are they'll put that wow item back on top. So when someone opens this box, they're gonna see that little baby doll wrapped up in that blanket. And then they'll see this cute little kitty shirt right there. This is a nice full box. I love it when they're completely full. I don't want this baby's head to get rubbed on the box. So we're gonna put her down a little bit in there. Perfect. I'm really enjoying packing these boxes and posting these videos on YouTube. I know that when we first started packing, I was always, and I still am, always looking for new and fun items to pack in shoe boxes, always looking for places to buy things, what's on sale. I know that some of the Facebook groups out there, they're great at telling you when there's sale on things. Especially people find these baby dolls from Walmart on clearance for a dollar. I've never seen that. But even at $3, these babies are a great deal. And then to get someone you know to crochet a blanket or to, or to make some blankets just makes it so much sp more special. And then this year at Walmart, they had so many of these nice stuffies for $2.97 and some people were finding these on clearance too. We never found them on clearance but I did grab a whole bunch of them you can see back here. We have I stocked up because they were just such a good deal. You know with the rate of inflation you never know what they're going to be like next year and they're just so squishy and soft. The quality just seems so great on these so I definitely stocked up on those but our kids, yours too, Whoever gets these boxes, they're going to love them this year. I think that there's so many good deals and so much, um, so many fun things. And I hope that the little girl who gets this loves kitty cats as much as I do. And if she doesn't, I hope she loves the rest of the items in her box. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, thanks for packing. If you need any ideas or you have any ideas, let's talk in the comments because I just love this ministry and I just love the thought of all these boxes going to other countries. I forgot one of my favorite things. Hang on. It's all the way at the end of the table, so I forgot it, but I love to include one of these prayer cards. It's a Bible verse. You can get these at the dollar store. This one says, it's from John 14, 8. If God is all you have, you have all you need. And what I love to do with these is pack them down the side of the boxes. So whoever is moving this box around, from me to the church who collects it, to the people who are packing it in a box or on a trailer, they might be able to read that from the side. So it's just another little extra special thing that I pack in my boxes. So. Thanks for coming along and seeing our little setup, meeting some of our, well, all of our little kitties, and um, I'll talk to you next week.